I'm Mr. Knotts with Ultra Poi, and I'm going to teach you how to spin poi. And you're going to be able to look like this. Goals. Now, everyone going into this do know there's lots of different ways to teach poi and lots of different cool variations of tricks and, you know, structural education that you can go through. This is definitely not, like, probably a curriculum that uh, is all that typical that I'll be doing. This might be a weirder structure of flow, but hey, I get to do this video. So, we're gonna make it whatever is... It's gonna work. Don't worry, it's still gonna be like an... Like, I'm still gonna try to make... Are, are we cool? Are we doing... You're, you've already hit like, you're already subscribed to the channel, you know? All that stuff. Good. This is part one of the Fundamentals Fundies series. Funsies? Fun... <clears throat> this is part one of what is gonna be a long series of educational videos for Poi. I'm gonna be doing beginner, advanced, intermediate, silly, Mr. Knott's favorites. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of ranges that we're gonna end up doing with this. I think that it's fun for anyone to clean up. Like, I could say that this is the beginner fundamentals, but in all honesty, I think it's probably better to just say that anyone can learn fundamentals, and honestly, I'm probably gonna learn a lot from practicing these fundamentals, maybe even relearning them to so that I'm capable enough to teach them. So, we're gonna do this journey together. On to the next edit. I'm gonna cut and then, because I haven't planned the next thing that I'm gonna say, so, uh, beep. The way that I started learning poi personally, I actually skipped all the fundamentals and I learned a trick. So I'm gonna teach everyone the first trick that I learned that theoretically you might not need fundamentals to learn. We're gonna try it. If you wanna actually skip to the straight fundamentals lesson, go to the next one. Today, I'm gonna teach you the first trick that Mr. Knotts learned, which was a contact roll. Go check me out it's doing it elsewhere because this is not the room for that and this is not the outfit for that. It's a cool outfit though. If you wanna learn how to spin like Lucas, Mr. Knotts or whatever, so hit that subscribe button with Ultra Poi. We got you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that suave introduction, Mr. Knotts. What a cool guy. Am I right, everybody? Like and subscribing over here. I am, definitely. I'm gonna teach you this basic contact roll trick. This is not actually probably a beginner level trick, but everybody who wants to learn poi wants to do it for fun. So we should start with a fun trick that I probably actually don't need any poi terminology to teach. The only things that you should know, this is the poi head and this is the poi handle. I feel like that's pretty intuitive, but it's worth explaining. We're doing a tutorial, right? We explain things here. That's the format. The only other thing that you're gonna wanna know is that this is gonna be a lot easier with a weighted poi handle. A lot of people spin leashes. Those will be a little bit trickier to learn this. Also having a head that's a little bit heavier will make it a little easier. You could pretty much, I'd say generally speaking, learn any poi trick with any kind of poi. It's just some nuances of poi will make some tricks easier than others. I'll do a little video explaining a lot more about that in the future. So if you wanna move on straight to the fundamentals where I actually start doing all the beginner breakdown stuff, Move on to the next video, but if you want to keep learning this, here we go. Contact roll thing. Uh, f so the trick that I want to teach is a basic contact roll and then a little throw it back out. So this way and then out. Don't worry, we, we will do the fundies and build up your knowledge base in an effective and meaningful way. But if it's not entertaining, you're not even gonna be able to get that far. So let, let's do fun stuff so that you guys actually want to spin poi. And this trick is always gonna impress your friends. Uh, okay, actually maybe not. I don't know how many times anybody's ever been pressed by. Step one of trying to learn this is you're just going to be spinning the poi in this direction towards yourself. Your poi are gonna be going from the bottom and up towards your head in front of you, and then going behind and towards your butt behind you. That's my way of trying to explain what direction you're spinning. In terms of which like hand to start with, just use whatever's comfortable as well. You could do left, you could do, oh shoot, maybe I can't. Part one of this trick is you're just going to work on tossing the head of the poi into your hand. And you can do this little exercise to just try to get a little versatile, feeling the weight of how the head is supposed to move to your hand, and you know, the counterbalance between the handle and the head. It's gonna be different for whatever set of poi you're going to be spinning. Once you're comfortable with getting that toss down, the next thing you're gonna do is try to do it and maintain the swing of the handle the same way that you were swinging your poi when you were starting the trick. So the poi handle will be coming up in front of you and be going down behind you. 
That's the direction that you want to be going. Ah, that's an interesting way to explain. That's kind of hard to explain. Don't worry, this nut's gonna explain directions in a future video. From here, you're gonna do the actual contact roll. So the ball is going to roll up your arm and into your hand like so. If you'll notice, my arm is bent at a 90 degree angle, and that's going to make the handle come up to your hand when you lift it during the contact roll a lot easier. Practice is going to help with your timing, but you're essentially going to want to try to pull your hand up as the poi gets closer to your elbow. Also keep in mind little details as you practice, like how I'm keeping the poi on one side of my arm so that it doesn't fall off going on the outside. Okay, on to the next step, the throw out. For this, you're essentially doing the first part backwards. Extend your arm and watch the poi roll out back to your hand, and you can maintain the same spin that you were doing the first time, but again in the opposite direction. So from here, you just learn to throw it back out, and you're set. So again, all in one motion. Voop, 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 voop. Kind of a weird trick to get started on, but you know what, it's a, it's a cool thing to get started in, and I think contact is like popular in the flow scene now. So you'll be a cool kid too. Thanks so much everybody for watching. Again, do the subscribe things. I'm Mr. Knotts, and I'll see you in the next tutorial series. The link to the rest of the series is going to be in the description and we'll have playlists on the channel that you can go sort through um, if you're interested in any of Mr. Knott's privates. No, that's not what I meant to say. <laughs> Why does this happen to me all the time? I should not be. Check out my OnlyFans. <laughs> my Flonely fans? That just sounds my sad. My Flonely fans? My, my Lonely fans. <laughs> oh no. It's because there's no one subscribed. <laughs>